No! Uh, back! Back, you heathens! Okay. Alright, I know that there's a the thing over here. Back in that. It's okay. Thank you. It's safe now. 150. Nice. Really bad feeling about all of this. You should. I'm gonna need those keys to the diner now. There's a motel key there that I have to get. Oh, hey, you don't have to do that. I have the motel master key. What? I work for the same company, you know. Um, what's at the motel? Well, there's a dead guy. He's got something I need to get into the Mount Red Tooth Observatory. God, that's awful. Hey, um, you wanted to know about the guy who looked like you, didn't you? The last time you said he had a party, and but you didn't go. I... no, that's not true. I did go. It was really great at first, and, and then... I didn't see it myself, but I hear he turned nasty. He hurt a bunch of guys pretty bad, and there was this girl, he... she died. But I didn't hear about that until afterwards. I thought that he was so charming. And then he went to the diner. That's... that's right. I wasn't involved. I wasn't involved with that at all. I don't know what happened. Fine. I need to check out these motel rooms. In the meantime, you stay here, okay? I'm serious. Keep the lights on and stay here. Yeah, okay. You got it. I sure hope you're right about this. <sighs> you're gonna stay here this time, right? Because the last time I didn't and that thing, whatever it is, happened to me. Yeah. I don't want you to get hurt again. Don't worry, I'm gonna stay put. I don't remember what happened exactly, but I learned my lesson. Good. It doesn't have to happen exactly the same way this time around. You proved that much when you went out and got those things for me. I think you're gonna be okay. Let's hope you're right. Uh-huh. Even though she did stay put and... Emma Sloan and fills her with dread. This time, she does as she's told. It's not enough to save her. She did as she was told the first time! Alright. Dead guy, observatory keys, thank you. Damn it! It's said that nobody knows what the future might bring, but for this man, it's no longer entirely true. A weaker man might simply give up, but the champion of light is an expert on destiny. Fuck destiny. Sometimes the puppet and puppeteer can be one and the same. And other times you get the girl killed again. Great. Sheesh. All right, so we're back at the observatory. That's what new wonders will wait for us here. Mount Red Tooth. It's top littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the Champion of Light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. Yeah. And again, we're in the car that I don't even know how we obtained. That really doesn't matter, I guess. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Douchebag thing. Oh, praise me. You guys are coming through for me. A pretty little light just started blinking on my board here, and that means there's a car. Oh, hey! No, no! Cheaters!
Okay, well, I'm sorry that a lot of that radio stuff just got hiccuped on you. Okay. That's taken care of. Great. Let's go get the fancy camera doodad. Oh, yeah, there's weapons here, too, isn't there? Just gotta find the damn things. No! Fuck y'all! Okay. Ooh, actually, there looks to be one right there. What is this one? The hunting rifle. Sure, what the hell? Got a good feeling about you. Oh, I should definitely go and get the other ones too. Oh, give me a break! Oh, I went too far. That's interesting. Why is it in a different spot? Are you telling me the darkness moved it? I can see my chairs though. Okay. Just gotta get up there. Um, oh no, the birds! Come on. God, that thing's got a hell of a reload. Okay, I can't get up that way. Well, not a reload, but fire rate. I understand it's a hunting rifle, but damn. Lovely. Six uh, shots to go here. Okie dokie. Here I come to save the day! I hope. Alright, alright. Oh, come on! Fuck you. Oh, that didn't quite work. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um. Give me that. You know, give me that right now. What the hell? I know that there's another one over here too, right? Pretty sure. Yes, there is. Hot oh, damn. What do we got here? Yeah, give me that. Combat shotgun. Oh my god. thing. Wow. B bring it on. <laughs> All right, lady. It's you. How dare you? No, wait. It isn't you, is it? I I suppose you'd better come in. I'll I I'll unlock the door. That'd be nice. Thanks. All right. See what uh, our old buddy Scratch is up to now, shall we? I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one, though. If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. Oh. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. It's too big. Too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is gonna do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, 
the messy jobs. Yeah. Uh, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? <laughs> Fucker. Oh. Yeah. He would really like the Joker. He'd be a great big fan. Flash bangs. Yeah! You have to forgive me, but this feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. I... all right. Uh huh. I'm probably gonna have to go out there again because shit's gonna overheat. Unless you could just operate the things a little bit slower. All right, back into the great big machine as we go. And there we are. I think we can give this a go. Although I have this strange feeling that something Don't will go wrong. Don't start it up yet. There's a problem with the coolant system. Oh, are you going to yes, fix that now? That's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Maybe. Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. Oh, what the hell? She asked nicely. Okay, so we've got 40 shots, or shells, the combat shotgun. That should be more enough to kill just about anything, I suspect. Hello. I don't so. quite know what's going on, but I seem to remember having had this encounter before. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time loop. That's utterly insane. How could that be? I can't really explain it. I suppose I could call it magic. I don't believe in magic. Neither do I, but I can't argue with what I've experienced. Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it. I need the rest of it. Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? I... yes. All right. There we go. I realize that you have trouble believing this. That's an understatement. I can't deny that what you say resonates with me on some level I don't pretend to understand. But for all I know, I'm simply delusional. But it's not just you. I've experienced the same thing as you. Doesn't that prove something, at least? Maybe. On the other hand, given your appearance, and the fact that you're trying to convince me that I'm not insane, perhaps you're merely a hallucination that accompanies my delusions. Maybe. I'm not having a psychotic episode, Doctor. For what it's worth, I'm a skeptic by nature. I completely understand your reluctance to believe me. There are people caught so deep in their psychosis that they retroactively manufacture memories and beliefs that conform to the situation at hand. Sure, but you have to stop second-guessing yourself at some point, if you want to get something done. Yeah. What I said. Alright. Let's go deal with that main coolant problem. That way we don't have to go around and take care of all three. We can hopefully just take care of one. Yeah. Sound of that a lot. Plus, when we get back into the next section, because duh, it's gonna be where this takes us, uh, we can get, I think it's the assault rifle? Okay. Over yonder. Okay. Don't, I mean, I wanna say that there's another gun box over here. I just don't remember where, though. Oh, right there, eh? Alright. Let's go ahead and take care of you proper, then, shall we? Oh, dear, that doesn't sound good. That's fine! I got a shotgun! The big boy shotgun. Oh, Jesus. Oh! See you in hell! Yeah! 
Yeah! This boy makes you feel good. Oh no! Okay. Oh, no, no, no. No! Whoa! Shit! Who the? They actually took out one of their own. Interesting. These beams hate the light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that way. Let's hope so. Okay, and do the thing. I think we're good to go. Nice. I'll start looking for the signal. Please head back. Uh-huh. About that. Oh, bastard. Oh. Get in the car again, are ya? Fine. Oh shit. Stop it! God. I didn't like that. Yeah, no. Darkness is not like when you start fucking around with its plans. Oh shit! Trying to kill me. Time to go. Time to go now. Right now. Oh come on! Oh shit. Come on. Come on! Rat bastard lights! Yeah, that's fine. Oh no, that's not fine. No! Refuse! Go, oh, God! Ow! Of course, I get popped by him. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. I like this better. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no! Are they all the grenade assholes? They were, yeah. Okay. Nice. Let me in. Okay. It's, uh... Oh, yeah, right, it gets dark. It's working. Please, come up here. I don't have to fight the things? Okay, cool. That... I can rock with. Oh, 30. How'd I get 40? No, wait, I'm right. 40. Right? Two. No, I'm retarded. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I obviously have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Find a signal? Yes. I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal now? I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though. If you don't mind. Ah, sure. What's on your mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing. Provided that they survive these creatures, that is. You seem to be quite adept at dealing with the situation. Why is that? I've dealt with it a lot. I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to contain it and free my wife. But I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways. And I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Okay. Was there anything else? 